Okay, we're in the Zencart um, page. As you can see at the top of the screen here, we have got our URL with forward slash products at the end, which is the directory that we put them in. Now, we want to be able to add products to this and change what, how this all looks because we don't want these ads everywhere. So you go into admin at the end, as you can see. And we type in our username and password that we set up when we created our little shopping cart in cPanel. Okay, so this is the back end of your cart and there are um, a lot of things in here as you can see there are just heaps. So what I'm going to do is break these videos down into um, little sections and we'll take it from there but today, well firstly we'll start off with um, let me think let's start off with configuring your store so you obviously hover over configure, click on my store we wait for it to come up which it will do eventually, ok so these things here you can change so if I want to make that, rather than having it the domain name, oops, whoa, and then update. So yeah, you just click on each line and over on the right hand side here you'll be given the option to um, change it. Store owner, it's got admin at the moment so you can change that to your name. Now country, because I'm in Australia, obviously. I want it to be Australia. So, there we go. Update. Now, the zone is definitely not Alabama anymore. And this is just your state. So, I'm in Queensland. So, update that. Okay, you got your sort order. Like a lot of this stuff, you can leave until down the track. Um, some of it you'll never need to change. Display cart after adding a product. Store address and phone number. That's obviously a good one. People want to know that they're buying from someone um, that they know is reasonably local. So you can put your details in there. Category counts. That would be um, how many items are in each category from your store. Again, these can be changed until for later tax decimal places now tax value of this amount of decimal places I've not used that one yet and I don't think I need to use it but yeah, have a fiddle <laughs> display prices with tax no you don't want to do that um, yeah so just go through each item change what you think is relevant to you and take it from there